Hi and welcome to the AVCA video tip of the week sponsored by Volleyball One on One. I'm Volleyball One on One's owner and I'm super excited. I am here with Brian Jumalero. Welcome. Uh, Brian Jumalero is arguably one of the greatest coaches in NCAA indoor volleyball college history. He's coached three of the top ten greatest players in the world. The first player and coach, the first coach to have an undefeated season in women's volleyball history and also the winner of multiple national championships. So we're excited today because we're going to be doing one of his favorite and signature warm-up drills. We do this warm-up drill every day. The purpose of the warm-up drill is to touch the ball several times at different parts of the court and have every movement that you do on, on the floor during the match at a slower pace, but learn how to make the movements properly and develop the most important thing for a team, and that's rhythm. Rhythm, man. So the ball starts and goes at the same time all the time, and the players talk about it, so start to develop communication skill. But you see that the, the movement is to be exact because the court is so small, and rhythm being the most important thing in volleyball and hesitation being the opposite. We attempt to develop a rhythm, and this goes on every day in practice. Well, let's take a look, and we'll talk a little bit about it after. Regular warm-up, and I apologize. Oh. <laughs> Ready? Toss. Mine, one, mine, four, mine, two, mine, two, mine, three, mine, three, mine, four, mine, five, 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 mine, for what you see here right away, look at both feet are moving. But even if it's subtle, there's no leaning. So you move your feet, because eventually when the ball comes fast, you've got to be able to move your feet. You have to stay on balance. So right now the goal is that they're moving their feet together in rhythm. Yes, and they're moving both feet. Most, I will tell you that almost every player plays on one leg. Yes. And they're always leaning. So the idea of moving both feet and staying bent and they stay bent. Notice the arms are straight now, yes. on always. Sure. You see how they got back to that position? The way they got back to that position is shuttle, because you shouldn't turn your hips away from the court when you don't need to. So their hips are straight, yeah. and you notice how they're moving their feet together and how they're yeah. moving in rhythm. And notice how arms are straight and away from their body and legs are bent. Yeah, so their legs are bent. Now, and the other thing that's important is they're on both legs both feet. See that most players play on one leg and they use, they don't engage their left foot. And people are always on their toes. And see if you look down at the feet, see the feet are on the floor. Because you need them. You might need them to push later on. But you're more balanced. If you have your feet on the ground, you're more balanced. You get on your toes and you lose your balance. So you're saying, you're noticing how their feet are fully connected to the floor sure. and how they're in touch with the floor. Now just then, after 20... They, they shut us back again. Keep her in the court. Again, now you're, you're getting the idea that you can, you're passing the ball underhand from three, uh, three, six, and nine meters. So you're taking all the distances over uh, that you're going to use in the game. So, so this is very game-like in that we're getting all the touches very much like a game. Yeah, it, it, it three meters, of, six meters, and, and nine meters. At exactly. a slow pace. And control. And I also notice we got in the rhythm, yes. and we also gained the communication. Yes. See where the balls are? Look. Yeah. Pretty close. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. Now watch. When you come forward, you run. See, everybody took their left foot first and ran. Yes. And their hands are up. Now you're going to do the same routine overhand. And I notice they're moving their feet under the ball. Both feet. Both that feet. sounds simple, but it's it's very difficult. People yeah. play on one foot. Yeah, All I feet. can see I'd how say, balanced they are. It's extremely balanced. Mm -hmm. That's right. Players, almost all players play on their right leg. And not both. So it looks simple. Anything good, anything somebody does well looks simple. That's what makes it great. Mm -hmm. And everybody can set. And the technique is, you know, taught from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. 
Sally, shuttle back. Everybody shuttles back. Yes. The arms are coming up at the right time. Their hands are in nice the right position. Nice loaded position. position. Yep. See that? Now watch the feet, how simple, how, how uncomplicated it looks, but look at how much movement there is to, to make, to put the ball right on top of your head. There might be just uh, two feet, but you take three steps to get in those two feet. Watch how small these steps are to get in position to set the ball. Yeah, I'm noticing. It's so obvious. It's incredible. And the other thing is the pressure of this, because they're doing it 20, 20, 20. It's like there is pressure involved. There's a lot of pressure. You know what I mean? So they're building and they're working on doing it in a pressure situation, which yeah. is phenomenal. And I'm glad you understood that, because it is. It's to stay up. Some people really have trouble with this. And once they do it, though, they feel very comfortable about what they do with their team. Sure. They're, yeah. Be, well, I be love responsible. the other thing is <laughs> it, 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 it teaches perfect technique the one thing that i've always been impressed by and i noticed this in all of your videos mm -hmm. is how focused you are on excellent and exceptional technique like mm -hmm. i saw that in that dvd series of yours mm -hmm. and again it's getting shown here it's not every single person here is almost i, I can't see anything it looked like perfect technique to me and it's so noticeable yeah you got how are you going to how are you going to get an advantage on your competition Everybody's athletic, everybody knows how to play, everybody's big, so how are you going to beat them? You're just going to be, have to be more efficient at your game. You know, I, yeah. Tactical is important, tactical is important, you've got to have them both. Now watch here, now watch the movement. When you run, come forward, you run, and when you go backwards, you shuttle. Run forward, shuttle back. So now you're starting to get a little movement. In the, so in this is doing. very game-like in terms of their movement, in terms yep. of how they're doing this, which yep. is very, very important. It's a very small court. So with six people in a very small area, if you're going to have any sophistication, you better move. You better know how your teammates are moving, and you better move together. Now they're it's opposite. They're passing the ball deep, coming in and shuttling back. Before they were coming in to pass it, now they're going back to pass the ball. Now, how many touches do they get during the course of this drill? Must uh, be like 200, I'm guessing? More than that. I probably think that that's some good communication right there. <laughs> now they have to get back into it. And those are my two most responsible players. <laughs> and it was, it was the taller one that made the mistake. The brightest one. <laughs> Our, our favorite player made the mistake. I don't know what she was thinking. Oh. Not that she doesn't do it all the time. Not, I tell kids a lot of times, I don't know why they're not perfect like we were when we were kids. <laughs> I never made these mistakes. Now they're going the opposite direction with their feet again. So now they're setting the ball by backing up. Instead of coming forward to set the ball, they're backing up to set the ball. So now you, that's a really good point. So previously they were moving forward. Now they're moving back to set a ball. That's and a, how are they moving? They're running forward, shuttling back. Running forward, shuttling back. You know what I love about this drill is the focus on movement. The reality is you... you now they have to... When you run, you have to turn and run. That's what you're just talking about with movement. So when you, when you run away, you have to run. So you need to get that good jump crossover step first and run. Yeah. I see the crossover step. Yeah. Make them work. Make them work. And that crossover step is the most efficient way to get large distances yeah. across the court. That's right. Blocking, hitting is actually a crossover step. But running to shuttle, a, a, a setter running in and transition is a crossover step. Crossover step is the most important step in sport, every sport. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just in, I'm times. impressed that they're this in time and in Watch sync now. too. Now they go sideways. Let's see how in sync they stay. Now when you go sideways, you settle sideways. The other thing that, I don't know if you've known about this, but there's been a huge amount of studies, and we're doing some stuff with some top guys now on vision. But one of the things that is done in this drill, that you, I don't know if you're conscious of it, 
this was the end of the same time. Wow, cool. it was amazing. Is <laughs> the vision is all up here, mm -hmm. you know? So, yeah. if you look at volleyball okay. vision, so much of the volleyball vision is up here, but people don't practice up here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so that entire drill, everything is up here. So it's like they're yeah. doing and focusing on the most important part. Yeah. The other thing is then, if your vision is up there, communication becomes incredibly important. Unbelievably. Yeah. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that drill. It's an absolutely incredible drill. You know, but there's a lot of steps that build into that drill before you can get there. One of the things that I've really always been impressed by Brian is his emphasis and focus on technique. There's some incredible videos at Volleyball One on One, including his DVD series that I highly encourage you all to check out. And um, again, just to emphasize, what are our main points that we want to focus on? Well, Can, yeah. yeah. Let me. The, the importance of the DVD series is it starts in the beginning. Yeah. It takes steps. You know, they. It, it, one of the weaknesses we have as coaches is well, it's like as if we're teaching a, a class in mathematics, and we start on page one, and so, we jump to page twenty, and jump to page sixty. Sure. And we don't take a prog process, a normal progress, how kids yeah, in progress. Yeah. So they fail, and it breaks down. And they, I think the best part of the series is not only is it very detailed and functional, uh, um, physiologically it makes sense. You can sell it to players because the geometry of it, uh, the physiology of it, works. And, and so players buy it. But also, for coaches and for players, there's a sequence, a step-by-step -step process, starting at the beginning. Otherwise, we lose players and we don't know why. Very, very cool. Okay, I hope this was useful. Uh, so, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and make sure you see all Brian's videos at volleyball101.com forward slash Brian Gimilero.